tires outside of a show with Shane Gillis. You wanna watch me peel out? Yeah, absolutely. It's a topic that maybe isn't the most exciting to learn about, but one where there's probably the most amount of information surrounding it. Believe it or not, there is a ton of research, technology, and engineering that goes into making those round rubber things that go around our wheels. But the truth here is that tires are extremely important, not only for the performance of your car, but also for keeping you safe. And understanding them a little bit more can help you make the right decision on your next set of tires. Because guess what? There are a ton of different types of tires out there and it all gets a little bit confusing on what is exactly what which is why we are here to help you better understand the difference between the types of aftermarket tires that are out there now real quick we actually just took a trip to continental tires sumter plant a little over a month ago and if you want to hear all about that and get the inside details on that make sure to check out the martini works podcast where we talked about it right here on youtube or any place you listen to podcasts now when you go out on your search for the next set of tires whether you are replacing the worn out set on your daily driver, you're trying to pair them with a new set of wheels that you're looking at, or are looking to snag that extra second at the track, you're going to be met with a literal overwhelming amount of information on why apparently every tire that has ever been made is the best tire for you. And they all use different terms, different names, different numbers, everything. But what is the actual difference? So let's start with your typical everyday driving tires. The ones that are going to get you from point A to point B. These are going to be the majority of what we we call your all season or touring tires. Tires from Michelin, Continental, Yokohama, etc. These tires are designed with comfort in mind while getting the job done. These types of tires are gonna be made from a flexible rubber compound that is capable of maintaining its flexibility across a wide range of temperatures because temperature does affect rubber compound. This is so you can have a decent amount of traction in both hot and cold weather. They're also going to feature a moderate tread depth and pattern that's going to give you a compromise between both wet and dry conditions. Kind of just the whole thing that can do it all. Now, typically these treads will look pretty normal and are nothing to really write home about, but that doesn't mean that there isn't still a ton of thought and engineering that has gone into them. Typically what these tread designs are made to do is keep road noise low while moving any water or light snow out of the way the best that they can. The combination of these elements will give you a balanced all season or touring tire that's suitable for a variety variety of conditions. But let's say you live somewhere like here in Wisconsin or anywhere that deals with harsh winters and snow, and you really just want to have that specific set of tires on deck specifically for those winter months. What makes a good winter tire and why wouldn't you just run them all year round? Well, when it comes to winter or inclement weather tires, these are the tires that have been made to handle the worst that winter has to throw at them, including heavy snow, ice, and even heavy rain. One of the most important elements of these tires is the compound that they are made of. The rubber compound that is used to make winter tires is a lot softer than your normal everyday tire and is designed to remain soft and flexible at extremely low temperatures, making sure that you have grip in those situations. It's also often infused with a silica compound which helps enhance grip on icy roads. Every brand has their own like special formula and recipe that they use to make their winter tires, but the majority of it really does stay the same. When it when it comes to the tread of these tires, you will notice a much deeper tread pattern with a larger and more aggressive sight. This is what helps dig into the snow and the ice and provides better traction as well as helping to channel all of that water and slush and snow away from the contact patch of your tire. So if you live in an area where these types of tires would be needed, why not just run them all the time? Well, since they are designed to remain soft and flexible during really, really cold temperatures, they will get even more soft and flexible when summer comes back around and the temps are a lot higher. Now, soft, flexible tires will wear a lot faster due to the amount of friction that they produce, meaning that you are likely to burn through them a lot faster than a normal set of all-season tires. The good news here is that there is an in-between that's becoming more and more popular as the years go on, which is something known as an all-weather tire option. It's meant to be like that middle ground between winter and all-season. Now, I have yet to have any personal experience with these types of tires. You have to say whether or not they are actually worth it or that they work well. But if you'd like us to get our hands on some and do some testing during this winter, let us know. But enough about daily driving and living in places where we don't go outside four months out of the year because the air hurts our face. What about the tires that we really care about? The really cool tires, the ones that look neat and are meant to make us go fast. 
high performance, ultra high performance, summer, track, whatever name you want to give them. What makes these tires so special? Starting again with the compound. This is where we really see that secret formula come into play for each of the brands that dabble in these types of tires. This compound is formulated to be softer and stickier than your typical all season tire. This is meant to provide high traction and grip in higher temperatures when you start putting these things to work and when the temperature of those tires starts to get up to where they should be. There's also more engineering and design that goes into things like the sidewall of these tires. Typically, you'll see these ultra high performance tires have a stiffer sidewall with more reinforcement that helps improve cornering stability and responsiveness. Tread design on these types of tires are probably some of the most recognizable when it comes to tires with shallower tread depths and fewer grooves and sipes throughout the actual pattern compared to a normal tire. These patterns and tread blocks are designed to maximize the contact area with the road to create as much grip as possible. Now, while these tires perform on track really, really well, of course, you're going to have that negative trade-off when it comes to things like a lower tread life and lower performance during lower temperature and inclement weather. So when it comes down to picking out your next set of tires, which should you go with? Well, if you are driving your vehicle a ton and it's just something that gets the job done, can get you through dry and wet conditions and you don't want to have to worry about buying tires like every other year. A set of all seasons or even performance all seasons will suit you just fine. If you want something with some more performance, a more aggressive look to them, maybe you only take your car out on the nice days every now and then, by all means, go and get yourself a nice set of ultra high performance tires, something from like the Michelin Pilot Sport lineup or something like the Continental ECSO2. And you really can't go wrong with snagging a set of winter tires that are gonna be on standby, ready for those brutal winter months. I went too long in my life without investing in a set of winter tires, but I can honestly say that they are 100% worth it, at least in Wisconsin or any places that get a lot of snow and get really, really cold. So hopefully this has helped give you some insight on some of the key differences when it comes to the different types of tires that are out there on the market right now. And of course, if you ever need some help in picking out some new tires or wheels or wheels and tires or anything else, make sure to mod your car at martiniworks.com.